Well, the gift that gives is a new Australian-made rom-com about an author who finds himself in a love triangle with a TV presenter and her best friend. Let's take a look. Your first time on TV? Uh, yeah. So you did great. You look exactly like your book cover. Not many people do. The gift that gives. It's full of great stories and life lessons. It's going very well. You must be proud of your son. And I have another one back at home. It's the fourth rom-com from writer and director Joy Hopgood and two of its stars, Takaya Honda and Ha Ha Lee, join us now. Welcome. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having us. I promise I won't, I won't start to fall in love with you. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can try, but I don't know. <laughs> All right, so tell us about the movie, about your character and, and the love triangle that you find yourself in. So I'm like a, a self-help author uh, and I do a TV interview, the the you of mm -hmm. that situation uh, gets a little thing for me and then we meet in a bookstore because I'm selling my book uh, and then I meet the lovely Hi House character and well, you can understand <laughs> why. <laughs> Things change and we go on a date and have some fun and it's a, it's a bit of a rom-com yeah. uh, come like whodunit type mm -hmm. thing as well in there which is a bit of a twist on the genre which is fun. So hi, hi, tell us about your character Linda who is good mates with Kate the TV interviewer and yeah. just take it from there. Yes, yeah, so um, my character is a kind-hearted bookshop owner um, where uh, Takaya's character has his book launch and um, my best friend and I have a history of falling for the same guy. Oh no. So we take a liking to each other but then we discover that my best friend is also in love with him so needless to say there's a bit of drama and um, then Takaya's character finds some uh, mysterious love letters that that threaten to derail his family. So he goes on a quest to find these letters and um, and then my character is like, you know, just 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 chill, chill dude. Of course, <laughs> a bit of drama between the two, but you know. Yeah, there's a bit of tension between us. So there's a bit of everything, a bit of comedy, um, romance, drama. It's a nice it's light hearted a feel film. good film. Yeah. So what uh, on that front, what, what did you like most about it, Takai? Well, meeting Hi Ha uh, was a great experience. <laughs> um, I've seen it before in things, so it was really nice. That, and we connected really well, which for this kind of thing, when you've got to work intimately mm. together, makes uh, a big difference. So mm. that, that's yeah. probably been the best thing. And then also working with Joy, who's directed the film, produced the film, written the film. <laughs> so yeah. She's a bit of a powerhouse and, and is yeah. amazing at getting things done. So. And you had to work really quickly together too, didn't you? Yes. Tell us about that, the filming, because that's pretty extraordinary how yeah. quickly you filmed it. Well, she approached us um, a year ago and said, you know, do you want to be in this film? We're going to shoot it in eight days. So. Insane, but yes, because it sounds like a wild ride and, and she's such a powerhouse, she gets things done and she's such a champion of diversity on film, so yeah, I wanted to be part of the ride. Yeah, she's an absolute superstar. Uh, many great co-stars, including the fabulous Lex Marinos, mm. who older viewers might recall from Kingswood Country back in the 70s. Yeah. What was it like working with Lex? Oh, amazing. He's such a, a down-to-earth, cool guy, super funny. Mm. Uh, he's... His, uh, everything they did on set was, was, it was tough to keep a straight face. And when you're shooting that fast, you've only got a couple yeah. of takes. So if you ruin a take with a laugh, then it's, it's not yeah. good. So, uh, no, he's amazing. He's, yeah. he, he little things. He provides most of the comic relief moments, as, as well as Susan, Susan Ling. She's very funny. Well, I like how Lex described this as a snapshot of contemporary Australia. And yep. you touched on it as well, that Joy really brings, a, um, I guess what Australia does look like now to mm. the screen. So that must be good to be part of a film like that. Yeah, and it's brilliant that it's uh, it's just a film that has diversity in it. It's not about mm. diversity mm -hmm. in that sense. Um, so you're seeing a rom-com uh, with diverse faces in it, which you haven't seen a lot of. You know, in the past, typically you're going to have two white leads in it, uh, mm. and in this, it, it's mixed up, which is nice. That's mm. great. So what's next for the both of you? Um, I'm actually in Boy Swallows Universe, which yes, opens of course. this week. <laughs> we Amazing. can finally say it's yep. this week. So, yeah, the premiere's tomorrow and I'll be there in Brisbane. Fabulous. I've got some more Play School episodes coming and I'm currently still on Neighbours, so uh, that's, that's we Lots start back filming in, uh, towards the end of the month and, yeah. So tell us, where can we see this movie and, and whereabouts in Australia can we see it? When does it come out? So it premieres next Sunday mm -hmm. at the Parramatta Riverside, but it's also at... Uh, the Randwick Ritz from the 4th of Feb and in Melbourne Cinema Nova from the 3rd of Feb.
Great. The gift that gives. It looks fantastic. Highly recommend it. Yeah. Takai and Haya, thank you so much for coming thank in. You. We Thanks appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And if you can, please go to those venues to catch it too. I see a great film, but also support some great Aussie filmmaking.